weekend, you will have the opportunity to help animals in need and meet thousands of dogs and cats up for adoption. The annual Maddie's Pets Adoption Days get started today and continues tomorrow. Pets Looking for Homes will be featured at over 60 locations throughout the five boroughs. And this morning, we have two great examples, three great examples with us of the kind of animals you can meet, along with Stephanie Matera from the Mayor's Alliance for New York City Animals. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks Good so much morning. for being with us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit more about the event and where these animals come from. Great. So our animals are from 150 plus rescue organizations that are part of the Mayor's Alliance for New York City's Animals. We'll have 30 groups featured today at Union Square Park outside of the Petco. And over 4,000 animals will be available throughout all five boroughs in 60 locations. And so what kind of identification documentation do people need to bring with them if they do intend to adopt an animal? Always bring your photo ID. If you have a personal reference or recommendation, bring that in hand. Sometimes a vet recommendation helps as well. And then talk to me. I mean, introduce these guys for us. Sure. I've got Fatima here in my lab. You've got two beautiful kittens of <laughs> yours. So tell us a little bit about these beautiful creatures. Great. Here. So Fatima is a nine-month-old Chihuahua Yorkie mix, we think. And she's absolutely beautiful, little bundle of joy. She's great for an apartment um, here in New York City. So hopefully she'll meet her family this she weekend. She's just so tiny, too. I, I can't know. Even. Perfect <laughs> carrying size. And I have a brother and sister here, and it's George and Camilla and they're about two months old and they are just the calmest things ever they are so happy right now in your life oh, Fatima them. wants to run around and hang out but those kittens <laughs> are just perfectly happy to just hang uh, and so the the event is named after a rescue dog what's so special about Maddie well Maddie was um, PeopleSoft founders dog um, and he started Maddie's foundation in 1999 after his pet had passed away and his goal is to make the US a no-kill nation so now he supports rescue groups and communities that are also trying to follow that mission. And so where can people go? Uh, what, what are some of the locations where they can show up to? Because this is a very broad event. It is. The best way to figure out what's closest to you is to go to animalalliancenyc.org or attend one of our mega adoption events today at Union Square. And so besides this event too, what, what are some of the other work that the Alliance does? Absolutely. So we have the Wheels of Hope Transport Program, which actually pulls animals from animal care and control into our rescue groups. So last year we did close to 15,000 transports. So it's truly life-saving work, and ACNC has been a great partner of ours. We also do spay and neuter and low-cost uh, vet clinics, uh, workshops if you want to learn how to uh, bottle feed little kittens. There's a lot for the family, and anyone can come out and really volunteer. Well, it's great work. Congratulations to you, and thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here today. And you can find more about of, uh, the event, the adoption days, and more about the work that the Alliance does on our website at cbsnewyork.com. We will be right back. This is CBS 2 News, Saturday morning.